Law enforcement was part of an intense training exercise to help them prepare for the worst. Good evening and thanks for choosing ABC6. I'm James Wilcox. And I'm Laura Lee. An active shooter situation is nothing anyone wants to see. But for first responders, they need to be ready. ABC6 News reporter Ben Henry was at a training today. And Ben, I know you said although it was a drill, it didn't seem that way. That's right, James and Laura. Law enforcement and the actors made it feel very real. At times it got pretty intense, but it was for a good reason because, as we know, situations like this drill do happen. Total of about 10 that are going to need to be evac'd out. Tuesday's training exercise helped local law enforcement prepare for what some people in the country have experienced in real life. We're going after the suspect. Rochester Police and Fire Department, along with the Olmsted County Sheriff's Office and Gold Cross, dealt with an active shooter and multiple victims with gunshot wounds. So that all three agencies work together uh, to uh, be uh, fast and precise in what they're trying to do as far as um, providing the best opportunity for survival. In order to make sure the first responders are ready for the real thing, actors were told to be as believable as possible, from the way they looked to the way they acted and sounded. Oh, oh, performed three rounds of the active shooter situation after each time, talking about how it went to try and improve. It's um, uh, impossible to know or to predict when something may happen and uh, uh, across the nation uh, these sorts of things do happen uh, and in order to save the most people you have to be prepared and you have to practice your plan and uh, uh, be well well versed in, in uh, what the plan is. We need another feedback team. All agencies will continue to do this over the next month and a half. They hope to do it about 12 more times to ensure that everyone gets a chance to practice. Ben, we noticed that all the video was from outside of the building. Why was there not any video from inside? Yeah, that was one of the questions I asked right away. You know, can we get inside? Uh, they said we cannot because they were concerned for the public safety as they didn't want anybody watching at home and getting any ideas on how they could possibly overcome some of the tactics used. All right, sounds good. Thank you, Ben.